But China's government has passed a new law that seeks to sinicize Islam within the next five years. Before you reach for your phone to Google the word sinicize, it basically means to make something more Chinese in character. That is Sino, S-I-N-O. Rahila, is this another move by China to sort of, well, reshape how religion is practiced there? Well, I mean, the, the uh, state-run English language newspaper Global Times reported on Saturday that the Chinese government, along with eight religious groups, agreed on guidelines on how Islam should be more compatible with socialism. It's passed a five-year plan to adopt Islam to what it calls a more Chinese way of practice. The paper says this is all part of Beijing's efforts to govern all religions. But many online are now connecting this to China's crackdown on communities in the Northwest. Xinjiang is an autonomous region where about 11 million Muslim Uyghurs are based. They've been targeted for years and they accuse the government of violating their religious freedoms. Now, the UN describes the region of Xinjiang as a no-rights zone. In a report last year, a UN committee said China was holding a million Muslim Uyghurs in detention centers. The government denied this, instead describing the camps as vocational education centers, and they went on to defend the practice as a way of bringing Muslim Uyghurs into what it called a modern, civilized lifestyle. Now, activists online have been protesting and also raising awareness about this issue for months. Many are using the hashtag SaveUyghur. And this list was shared on Facebook by exiled poets and writers and also university professors showing more than 100 detained Uyghur scholars who've been held in China since 2016. And we've also seen a lot of videos online from Wei Shan in Yunnan province, reports that Chinese authorities have started to demolish mosques there. Those who protested against the demolitions were beaten and arrested, and religious schools and also Arabic classes were reportedly banned, while children were also not allowed to take part in Islamic activities. And it's not just in China. Some have taken to the streets to protest in Canada. And this group of Uyghur activists marched from Istanbul to Ankara to raise awareness about the situation in East Turkestan. They're calling on world leaders to put pressure on China to shut down the camps. Well, Human Rights Watch says that the Chinese government's crackdown in Xinjiang province began in 2014, and the level of repression has increased since. We heard from Sophie Richardson, the group's China director. Human Rights Watch has documented torture, pervasive restrictions on personal freedom and the practice of Islam, the rise of political education camps in which people are arbitrarily detained, up to a million of them, essentially for not agreeing uh, with the Chinese Communist Party. We think it is imperative for the UN, the OIC, and concerned governments to demand access to the region with a view towards holding officials accountable. If any other government in the world was credibly alleged to be detaining up to a million Muslims, I think we can reasonably assume there would already have been a vociferous demand for accountability, for a debate at the Security Council, for a fact-finding mission, and Uyghurs and Kazakhs and other ethnic Turkic Muslims in China and across the world deserve no less.